Hello, Hello people, people of the internet and welcome to another episode of Something Vloggy and today we are heading towards the Nath Dam. You see of person whose name is scrolling on the top because we're rubbish at names. Yeah. Very sorry. We are up above Torpantu. Torpantai you mean. Now we get our pronunciations wrong a lot. Today I have not only looked it up but I've written it down phonetically so I know that it is Nayath. And you will see momentarily why this dam is so interesting. This fascinating looking thing behind me is a reservoir and I am standing on a dam. But it's not the dam we're coming to see. Who oh, no. This is the, uh, the precursor to the dam that we're going to see. This differs from the other dam in that this dam has some, not much, but some, water. Whereas the one that we're going to see doesn't. Which is what's so interesting about it really is the fact that, you know, big dam, no water, as you will see momentarily. But we have a little bit further to walk before that happens. I could quite happily spend the day with a picnic up here, it's very pleasant. And uh, other people seem to think so too because the car park is chocker, but they're all climbing up the mountain behind me it would seem. So we'll see how many people are at the reservoir. I saw a lizard. So as we're wandering down off this first dam, quite to my surprise, I saw a lizard. And I like lizards because, you know, they're lizardy. You quite often see lizards on hot days like this. They come out and bask on the, on the rocks and warm themselves up. And, they seem to have a lovely time. We're now between dams. This walk's quite a short walk. Anywhere between 15 minutes to half an hour. We've picked lovely weather for it. And uh, so is everybody else. And it's a bank holiday, so yes. everybody else. It's quite busy. <laughs> yeah. It's still well, quite that, peaceful though, despite that. See, it feels good, this. It feels like there's a new lease on life and all that sort of stuff and, you know, positive thinking and... Yeah, so um, especially after the winter, we're feeling especially like, yes, yes. sunshine. Broken the shorts out. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm so pale, I reflect sunlight. That's the shot. This thing behind me is what we've come to see. I know it's not overly impressive from this view, but that is a dam. It just looks like any normal dam. The only difference being it's quiet here. Very quiet. The reason there is a lack of noise is because there's no real flow of water. It's just not doing its thing because the dam doesn't work overly well. It's got a concrete core and the concrete core is concrete filled with big rocks. And when they built the thing, they left all the shuttering in, which is made of wood, that allowed them to sort of form the shape. And then that subsequently rotted away, and then the water seeped in where the wood was, and then the concrete kind of crumbled, and then it stopped being watertight. So, they emptied it. <laughs> they pulled the plug. It's a very short walk. Lovely day for it as well. First impressions of the dam, they look pretty much like most of the other ones uh, along the Elan Valley. They're very pretty. We haven't had a look on the inside of the reservoir yet, or the non-reservoir, but first impressions are good. There's nobody here, it's lovely. Although you can hear the voices coming down from the mountain, you think, is somebody coming? And nobody is. There are a few sheep, that's it. Us and a few sheep. Upper Nayath Dam was constructed between 1896 and 1902. It has a Grade 2 star listing. It just goes to show you don't have to be useful or good at your job to be appreciated. They've been trying all sorts of things to sort it out since the 60s. The decision was made by Welsh Water, who own and operate the dam, to drain it to prevent further damage. To do this, they pulled the plug, quite literally. In this case, however, the plug is 13 feet thick and faced with engineering brickwork, whilst the pipe is three metres in diameter. Once the plug was pulled and the reservoir had emptied, 
the pipe was reinforced with a lining to prevent the negative pressure caused by flood water from tearing the dam apart. When there was water in the reservoir, there was a small island upon which sat a couple of cairns. I would imagine that would have been quite a spectacular sight. So here on the other side of the dam, you can see by the line of trees where the water must have come to. It's still damp in places around here and there's a stream that travels into the mountains. It's lovely here. Really peaceful. I mean, if it had water in it, it would be absolutely stunning. Especially on a day like today, you'd be able to see the mountains reflected in the lake. L reservoir, not lake. <laughs> So yeah, it's a shame that we couldn't see it before it was empty, but it is interesting to see what gets left behind when the plug is pulled. If you're in the area, come and have a nose and maybe climb a mountain whilst you're here because there's a mountain nearby that everybody's climbing and I can only assume that everybody's doing it for a reason. It's very easy to miss just how big these things are. You tend to see them from a distance, so you don't realise that, you know, this, this wall is towering above me. The amount of water that must have been stored in here and the fact that had it just failed, it would have been catastrophic. But fortunately, the, it just seeped, it just leaked. So catastrophe avoided. I mean, you know, really and truly you think about it, it's the sort of foresight of the people that, you know, the engineers and what have you that know what they're doing with this stuff. But it's got all of the various different things that one could desire, all rolled into one nice little package. It is grand. That's it from us at Neath Dam. We will be seeing you on Friday for the Friday show and again on Monday for another exciting excursion. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and then, incredibly importantly, click the little bell to, to give, give it, it some ears. ears. See you next time. TTFN. That way. <laughs> <laughs>